Okay, welcome to the stream. Uh, today we are solving day 11 and day 12. In this video, just day 11. Uh, day 12 is the next video, uh, but I missed one day, so yeah, days, two days. Let's see. Uh, you enter a lunch cover for red Dumbo octopus. Okay, Dumbo octopuses. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, they seem not to like Christmas lights in the submarine, so it turns them off for now. The 100 octopuses. So, like, it's is it octopuses or octopi? Yeah, this is. Anyways, <laughs> they arranged neatly in 10 by 10 grid. Actually, the slider gives energy or time and flashes bright for a moment when its energy is full. Though the lights are off, maybe you could navigate through the cave without disturbing the octopuses if you could predict when the flashes of light will happen. Each octopus has an energy level. Your submarine can remotely measure the energy level of each octopus your puzzle input. For example, okay, so we need an example. Um, Let's go here, save the 11 example, okay, and it also mean, okay, it mean actually, I have now a Twitch profile which increases font size. Hi. <laughs> this is using my uh, profile switcher plugin for Sublime Text which I was told like there's no use case, but I use it for writing and I use it for uh, streaming now. Wow, how cool is that? Um, <laughs> the energy level of each octopus is a value between zero and nine. Here, the top left octopus has energy of five. And the bottom has six. Okay, so yeah, it's an energy. You can model the energy level as fast in light instead. During a single step, the following occurs first. The energy level of each octopus is increased by one. Then act octopus with energy greater than nine flashes. This increases the energy level of all adjacent octopuses by one, including octopus that are diagonally adjacent. If this causes the octopus to have energy level greater than nine, it also flashes. This process continues as long as new octopuses. Keep having the energy level increased beyond nine. I was kind of the flash at most once per step. Okay. Finally, and any octopus that flashed during this step has its energy level set to zero and it used all of its energy as it's used all of the flash. Okay. So the first like trigger, flash, and then uh, get reset to zero. Okay. Adjacent flashes can cause octopus to flash on a step, even if it begins with a step with very little energy. Consider the middle octopus with one energy. Uh, and in this situation, after step one, so this all flash, kind of after step two, yeah. An octopus is highlighted when it flashed during the given step. Here is how the large example progresses, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, so that would benefit from animation, maybe. I don't know, who knows, right? Maybe. In 100 steps, there have been total of blah, blah, blah flashes. Given the starting energy level of the dumb octopus in your cavern, simulate 100 steps. How many total flashes are there after 100 steps? Okay, cool. Uh, so <laughs> wait, so input is the same size as example? Wow. Okay, this is unusual. So. I wonder where the complexity comes from then. Okay. Should we um, should we turn on the light? Nah, it doesn't help much. Should we visualize? Maybe, right? It would be cool to visualize. Um <laughs> But basically, we can actually, like, this says finally octopus has flashed during this step with energy level set to zero. 
we can set it to zero straight away and then never increase anyone who has energy beyond zero all right kind of kind of okay yeah so let's uh, let's start so what we need is we have the 11 example it is like this so first what we what we do is we parse it obviously um so let's write a parse function uh we're going to use arrays because arrays are faster in closure and more compact right uh, so we have input here and we're going to use make array um, I didn't start REPL so let me go get the REPL bam, 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 bam. okay so here I don't have profiles so sorry about that but we, don't, we are not going to use it that much okay this is the REPL uh, let's connect um let's evaluate we don't evaluate because this is broken right so now it works kind of and i needed it just to see to remind me what is here so we need a byte slash type the most compact type i can think of you only need 10 values i can actually compress it more by compressing i don't know several values in a byte but i don't think it's reasonable like byte is 216 values right ah, that's not reasonable but anyways uh make array and we know that input is always how much 10 by 10 right and it was always by 10 by 10 so we make it 10 by 10 like like this yes Mm -hmm. so we say let array is this um then we say do seek line string split input backslash m it's for each line right mm. fuck do i make it Well, what can we can actually do is we can just split we can just make an array for for a hundred uh, there's no reason to be that and we have digit and digit is going to be like this right or actually can use into array instead and here this will be this and then we basically say map uh, byte sorry and dash uh, byte parse byte yeah byte parse byte percent um hmm. this is the sequence this is a map and we want this basically like this we take this actually you know what this is even better because unlike a string split this is this does what we want it it, it has an argument in the correct position for us okay we don't need this and this should give us our array let's see parse example we won't be able to see this but yeah it looks like it's a five four let's see uh two 
three three two seven yeah it it looks correct and uh, def um, get um, I don't want to call it map let's call it array get let's call it array or a floor we we call it let's call it floor a level a uh, floor is okay x y and this is basically returns byte and it takes we know this is bytes right gate a get floor plus y multiplied by 10 x it's good when you okay so I don't, uh, this is very bad but is it bad no i don't think it's bad well was it what what is better like um okay parse long long type okay I'm going to use longs instead of bytes because closure has a hard time working with uh, bytes now we'll, so we have get and we need uh, also floor set and this is going to be wow and this is going to be a set wow right okay what i'm curious right now if we introduced any reflection it doesn't seem which is good which is good uh -huh. so okay now we have a floor we can we have get for it we can have set for it we probably need a function called neighbors and this is uh, we wrote this function already somewhere neighbor yeah like this it's more or less the same let's write right it here so yeah 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 and we probably want to pass coordinates as vector of two values which is actually better probably like this uh why is it better is easier to it still supports destructuring but it's easier to pass around to the single value right i okay yeah this doesn't work Well, you know what? Uh, pause point. Let so I'm trying to write slightly more efficient than um, closure code. Okay, so now uh, if x is bigger than zero, we can certainly do this. We actually need eight conditions. Four are this, and luckily for us, we can do this. And four are like this. Okay, so this and x bigger than zero and y bigger than zero. In which case we. deck x deck y and actually you know what we now use oops, sorry point so it looks like this it should look like this okay and one two three four so 
like this right and here we use ink and here we use ink as well and here we use less than nine okay so this should give us neighbors let's um neighbors we don't need even we don't even need a floor here mm, so let's say we need the neighbors for five five okay okay Um, okay, so four, five, six, five, five, four, 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 six, six. Yeah, it looks like all right, right? And if we give it uh, like zero, zero, we only get three. If we give it zero, five, we get five, which just seems okay. And if we give it nine nine, we get three. Yeah. Okay. So this seems to work, which is uh, good. Okay. So this this is more or less what we need, right? Mm. So inner energy level of each octopus is increased by one. Okay. 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 So what do we do first? Is. okay so now we need to write basically a step right so definite step is we take floor which is in our case longs and we return floor again um the di yeah we, on we also need like count flashes but i don't know maybe later we'll figure out how to do that uh for now let's focus on getting this this right right Mm -hmm. so basically what we do we first we increase each value by one so what basically what we do is do times e100 uh, a set floor e get floor e like this right so this is a step four f the step one sorry uh in which we uh increase the value of of each octopi now we find those that have value of 10 set them to zero and work with their neighbors right one by one or we can actually, yeah, we set them to zero, yeah. And somehow we need to return the amount of flashes, kind of. Okay, but uh, anyways, so this is kind of a loop, right? And it starts with a list of coordinates that have, hmm, maybe we also need a sequence of all points um and this is basically what it's going to do it's going to be a vector for x from uh, 0 to 10 and for y from 0 to 10 um let me see yes and we are going to make Why? So we have this like ready. So we don't, when we need to scan, we know how to scan. Okay, so what we do here is we need to only take points that have uh, 10 or, or more. Um, hmm. okay let's call it points and this is going to take filter points and filter is floor get floor um, percent bigger than nine right so these are points that start 
to high and we need well let's say we count flashes right and now if we have no points left okay so with, with this we have a problem that uh, this will be mutable uh, and if we leave the sequences lazy it will change we don't want it to change so we make it immutable like we don't make it immutable we make it we calculate it eagerly right for as a start okay so now empty points um hmm. we just return amount of flashes right if as otherwise like yeah we, we can use this uh, otherwise we set point first or big points okay i can actually do it even like this doesn't really matter no it does it does kind of it, it creates one more nesting level so yeah i prefer to do like this point big points uh, what do we do next so this is one of the points that needs to go off and what we do is we kind of yeah really matter otherwise what we do is we probably for floor set floor point uh, zero so it goes off right then we iterate our neighbors So we floor set, then um, neighbors. We look around, um, and basically what we do is we go over neighbors. Right. Uh, floor get floor um, neighbor and this is what we do so unless neighbor is zero so zero we don't touch right zero we don't touch if it's nine for example so what we need is um, we need to increase value by one and if it's nine or more we need to add it to our list right so basically floor set floor neighbor in qual kind of right so we increase the value of this neighbor and when um if its value is bigger than 
nine, we return it here. And we do record, and in our case, record will make into pop points. So we drop the point, right? Um, neighbors ink flashes, right? Like this. Okay, so we a little bit we, we abuse um, we abuse uh, mutability a bit, but this is a problem that like begs for mutability. Mutability is good for this problem. Okay, so what we want is let's say we need to experiment. So let's say we have um, parse example. All right we say step floor and then we need to print and to print we basically do partition floor 10 uh -huh. what Well, actually, hmm. okay, yeah, and this is our Mm, so what we need is no no uh, let's do well, let's do this this is all right I think okay so flashes zero we, we return zero flashes oh, did I increase flashes okay and it says six five blah 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 okay so let's say we start with this before any step this is our example right so this is what after step one after step one actually yeah nobody like flashed and we had uh, three eight yet so what step two is interesting in our case right so we do step floor and then step floor so now we have 48 flashes which is a lot and we have seven seven zero seven four yeah we kind of have something different so we we implemented this wrong somehow well, but this is our test right so mm -hmm. Actually, step four, step two is gives us, so it should give us five, zero, eight, uh, but it gives us something different, right? Uh, five, zero, eight. Uh, I can actually. <laughs> yeah, I guess this is like um, 
HTML. Okay. So we can do stuff like this. Doesn't display immediately, but it's okay. So this is what we can. This is just easier to see, right? So five, four, like two, seven, four. Wait, this is wrong. Ah, oh, it's because I commented out. Yeah, this original. Okay, th this the first step is right, right? 3a5, 637. And then something happens, which is weird. So this nine must go off, right? So it increases like this three, guys. Uh, oh, actually, this increases, it increases this to nine. Right, how does this becomes zero? Huh. Okay, so okay, uh, one one more. Oh, everybody is increased by one, so this is becomes uh, like nine, right? And then this goes off and increases it even more to zero. Okay, so, and why is this five actually? This is, so it increased one and increased one because of this, right? And this is eight because, yeah. Well, it feels correct. And what do we have in our case? We have, Think just under it becomes zero four one four one. This couldn't become one. This means our algorithm is somehow wrong. <laughs> um, hmm. Maybe we need uh, some sort of visualization or something like that, right? Okay, let's think of a way. Okay, so let's say, uh, let's write a function floor to string and it takes floor and it longs and basically what we do is do this but we use this because we're going to use console right Oops. no uh, okay so this is floor to string and what we're going to do we're not going to do this Mm. So, yeah, we are going to print like delimiter here. Then we are going to, to print something like this. So this happens delimiter. And then maybe floor, right? Floor, okay. So this is what we start with. Then we this is about <laughs> okay um, and then on each iteration we are going to print basically points and um, map v juxt x y mm, points all right 
before we actually don't need this this is for which we start with and we do kind of like this and then yeah this should be all right okay let's do but this is going to be oh my god okay why is it why is this floor not square I don't understand. <gasps> no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some numbers are actually. Bigger than 10. OK, yeah, this this would do. This would do. Mm. Okay, so this is what we start with. Uh, ma maybe I I could make it slightly. Uh, let me see if I can format percent to D. One, ten. Yeah, it looks like this. Okay, so Okay, let's see. We should see, yeah, more, more tight. Okay, so this is first step, right? And we have zero points. We just increase everything by one. All is good. Okay, so this is what we start with. Again, uh, we have these points, right? And this is after we increase everything. And points in our case would be two o, four one. 5, 4, yeah, it seems okay. Okay, so we are interested in 2, all, right, at this point. So what happens is we're actually going backwards from the end. Okay, so it's 2, 9, so this, this point, okay. Uh, we remove 2, 9, uh, the point like this, right. We increased this, 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 this and this well there is no problem with increasing this thing here. it's all right right and what we have is we don't care about those anymore but we have one eight which is this okay point this point okay so this goes off and it increases expectedly it increases this too and basically we get two more points and which are actually one seven and two seven right the problem is they're already in the list okay so this is our problem we put uh, points uh, in the list twice and we shouldn't do this 
so the way to do to to solve it is probably to use and we get 25 but we don't see the floor right so let's um, print the floor okay mm. <laughs> yeah um Let's use this. Okay, so we start with this and we get seven seven zero four ten. Wait, what? Ten? We have tens now? No, we shouldn't have tens. Maybe now I actually you see like we filter No, 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 this is correct. This is correct. No, it wasn't correct. So if the old value was eight or more, the new value will be nine or more. Or yeah, like this. So this is probably the correct one. Okay, yeah, oh, I think we got it. Uh, zero, zero, five, four, nine, and zero. Yeah, I think we got it. I think we got it. And we can run, and we should ha count flashes actually. Okay, so let's write a function that's called solve. It takes input, right? And uh, maybe amount of steps. If steps is Like, say we want just one step. Yeah. we do is call step on a floor and then recur let's call it delta flashes recur with floor uh, plus flashes delta flashes and one less steps, right? And what we are going to do is call solve on a parse example and uh, 0, 10. And we have 2 or 4. Yes, it looks correct. And let's see if you print correct. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 6, 7. Yeah, it looks correct. And let's say we run it for 100 steps, right? Okay, 1656. Is it correct? Yes, it seems correct. Cool. Uh, that means we kind of solved it, right? Right? 
Okay, and uh, basically the way yes we do we put here we start with zero. Um, we don't need this. Uh, let's relate everything. Um, Sixteen seventy-five. Sixteen seventy-five. That's the right answer. Yay! What part two has for us in its sleeve? Uh, it seems like individual flashes aren't bright enough to navigate, and or you might have a better option. The flashes seem to be synchronized. In the example above, the first time all octopus flash simultaneously is step 195. Wow! If you can calculate the exact moment when octopuses will all flash simultaneously, you should be able to navigate through cavern. What is the first step during which all octopuses flash? Um, okay, so actually, you know what, uh, let's say, let's put loop here, and we are going to need uh, floor flashes and step, floor is going to be this, flash is going to be zero, steps are going to be 100, and we actually run this here. I'll actually run everything in here like this. Mm -hmm. We don't need this. Wait, I oh my god, I, I moved it to the wrong. Yes, um, and we need one more here so if step zero flashes blah, 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 blah. recover floor um, flashes black steps okay this should work right let's see no, it's not working. okay yeah it still works cool and now we kind of need the same but uh what we are going to do instead is we're going to say step zero uh flashes we don't care about and we basically if every um, floor kind of like this right um -hmm. We return step, otherwise we make a step, uh, we, and we ink step. Okay, um, this might run infinitely if I messed something up, but let's try. Mm -hmm. Okay, something is not right here, but I think so. Every might not work on something like this. Yes? No, something different is going on. Oh, because yeah, 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 because I use step um, here. Let's call it like this. One ninety five. Is it correct? Is it? Um, yes. Five one five. Okay, and that's the right answer. Okay, cool. We did it. Um, that's day eleven. Let's make sure we can actually run everything. Okay, so after boxing loop arc flashes. Eighty-five. What? Eighty five um, floor 
one. Because it doesn't know that this returns long, probably. Yeah, this is gone. Uh, I wanted to run um, like this. Yeah, yeah, it prints. Okay, cool. Uh, let's me commit it. Stage, 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 stage. Year 2021, day 11. And day 12. All right, uh, let me restart recording.